hi hi uh, welcome to our video tutorial so in this video tutorial we'll see uh, how to implement list or dynamic array in uh, C sharp so let's create an example let's create a project no, project name list training okay so what we do now is we have already seen what is an array and how to use an array but it's a simple array so it's a static array it's array uh, its size is fixed it's not dynamic we can't uh, resize it dynamically so now list is a different story we create a list and we can add as many items or as many content as we want okay it's it has no limitation we can add we can remove which means we are free to add whatever element we want and also we minimize the space because there won't be any wasted space Let's see how to do that. Uh, let's see the exact example uh, in our uh, array tutorial. So let's create a list of string. See, the syntax is changed. Previously, when we tried to create an array, we did this string array. Now, list of a string the name I will say student names then I have to initialize it now I have created a variable called student names that can contain list of strings okay okay so we created our variable we initialized it now we can add any number of items Let's try student names dot add. Okay, it's a list, so I can add anything. It's not a reserved space like an array, and I have to provide index or location of that provided or that allocated space. Right now, there is no space allocated. Whenever I add, then there will be a space allocated for that specific added element. That's how we make it dynamic. So add. I will provide the name. Now one student is added. Let's add another. We have added five names now let's try to read the data we use for loop int i equal to zero i start us from zero it goes until i equal to now we have five elements so it goes to five we will see how to manage that now i plus plus which means i increments by one now let's write the data console dot right line how am i going to read since there is no index then i can do students of i exactly like a simple array once it's added it means it has a reserved space so it has an address so i can access it using that address console dot read line to pause it now let's test let's run our application and see there you go i have five names now what if i want to add six one without adjusting anything else student names dot add mm -hmm. 
the monitor. Does it work? Now, what is the problem? Let's see. Okay, so let's close our application and let's see what went wrong. Okay, we have added six items or six student names, but our for loop only so shows five elements. Now, we have to adjust this. It has to be dynamic too, because I can't change the number here every time I added or subtract the student. So what we can do is, we can use the student name dot length. Uh, sorry, it's count as the length of the variable or student names dot count will give me the number of students we are currently having or being added. Okay. Mm, so when we try to test now. Our student is added. Let's see the other one. What if I only want to use two right now? This one will be automatic, so it should work now too. Let's try our application. See, even the cursor is aligned. I mean, I only have two, so the memory being used is only two. That's the main advantage of using list in our project. Uh, when we compare to uh, simple arrays or traditional arrays. Okay, so this is how we uh, implement list. Can, right now we tried list of string. We can use list of integers or list of decimals, any variable can contain any number of variable, any data type can be inserted here, which means our list will contain that specified list or that specified data type. Okay, uh, I hope it's clear. Mm, if you have any questions, uh, please let us know in uh, the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching our video and uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube video channel. Uh, to get notifications on further videos. Thank you very much.